Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Keefy 75 Games. I am Keefy, and today we are going to go over uh, basically how to add um, overlays to your stream or to your Streamlabs uh, screen here. And it's a little bit more intimidating than what it actually is. It's actually kind of simple, okay? So don't get nervous like uh, like you're scared and, and you don't want to do it because you don't want to mess it up. It's actually not that hard, okay? So give me one second. All right, so what we're going to do here is, first of all, you need to make sure... See here, this is my microphone. If you go down into audio, which is right here, you need to make sure you have your... I'm using voice meter banana, so it's going through the whole system. It takes over my whole PC's audio system, so that's where all my, my audio is routed through from my microphone, so it goes through everything. That's mine. It's going to be a little bit different for you. You just click on it and put whatever your microphone it is you're using. You know, if it's the Blue Yeti, whatever it is you're using for a microphone, that's what you would want to click. But for me, um, it's going to be different. And it's going to be different for everybody. But you want to, right here for your mic and auxiliary device one, you want to put your microphone. Desktop audio, you want to leave at default and leave all this other stuff alone, okay? Once you get that in, you got your voice going, you got your desktop going. Now, mind you, once you add your overlay package you're going to lose your audio, okay? So don't do the mistake I did over and over and over again where I've done this tutorial about five times already <laughs> and realized that once I added, you know, the package, I forgot to go back into my audio and add my audio. And for the rest of this tutorial, there was no sound coming from my microphone. So anyways, guys, getting right into it. This is just scenes, okay? So you guys will probably already have something going on here that you made what you want to do and i can't fully go through with it or else it will cut off this recording you want to click manage all once you click manage all you're going to go to create new and when you click create new what it's going to do is this it's going to create a whole new blank canvas you're not going to have none of this here you're not going to have a display the only reason why i have the display capture here is for the sake of this tutorial so you can see my screen you guys are not going to have this here you guys are just going to have scene and you can change all this stuff later you can rename everything so you rename if you want to rename that scene you can but you're not going to need to and i'm going to show you why once you're ready and you have everything that you want here i had to enable this so you guys could hear me but you don't initially have to do this but you have to do it afterwards okay you guys got me so far all right let's move on come over to your dashboard left hand side bottom left hand side corner okay the top one this little like one-handed clock looking thing that's your dashboard click on it it's going to take you to your streamlabs dashboard left hand corner you'll find a column of all of these uh things that you can choose from click on stream overlays okay now it's going to bring us to the stream overlay page now there is a handful of free ones and there's also paid ones which are included with you know streamlabs prime um but for the free ones just come down here and in the search bar type in free and then once you type in free, it will change to all the free overlays. And guys, there's a whole bunch of them. There's like 14 different pages. Okay, so what you want to do is the ones that are animated, that it will say animated in the top right hand corner. If it doesn't say animated, they're just still pictures. Okay, but if it says animated, then there's going to be a moving background. And now note to self guys or note to you guys, they're not all going to have transitions. Okay, what I mean by that is when you click to a different scene, you're not going to have a transition that's going to separate it. So the way that you find out is you click on a scene, and if it has a transition, it will show you over here. Like if you click on this, and if there's no transition that initiates after a few seconds or 10 to 15 seconds of you being on this preview channel, then it doesn't have one, okay? And that means you would have to use one of the defaults, okay? You guys understand? And if you don't understand, just, you know, the comment section, you guys can leave a comment i will answer all the comments just note guys it may take me a little while i can't get them all at once i will get to you in time just know that okay so this one probably doesn't have a transition okay and we're gonna go back we'll go back to the listing so ones that will have this one for instance and what i mean by it is if you just sit here for a few seconds and you click on this this will eventually see it see it there's the transition Okay, so this one has a transition. Um, animation, click on this one. This one's pretty cool. But does it have a transition? 
Doesn't seem like it. They're not all going to have transitions. Like I said, some of them you'll have to do on your own, which are the basic like swipe screens or cut screens that you can do within Streamlabs. Um, let's search for another one. Next, look for the animation. It doesn't even necessarily have to be animated to have a... If it has a transition, it will just show it. But you got to give it a second. And you know what? It doesn't look like it. This one doesn't have any transitions. So again, make sure you're looking for a transition because you'll be disappointed once you get it all set up and you're like, oh, it doesn't have a transition. What the hell? I'm telling you now, be on the lookout for it. There's another animated one. Click to see if it has uh, an animation. I mean, uh, an animation. A transition. And again, this one does not have a transition. Okay, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use the one I know has a transition, which is RuneScape on the first page, which is it's actually a cool overlay right here. We're going to use this one, okay? So when you find the one you like, this is the one I'm using for this tutorial, okay? And this is what you get with it. You come up here to install, okay? Because we just made a blank scene on Streamlabs. Now we'll click install. Open Streamlabs OBS, yep. Now it's going to say install overlay because now we're in OBS. Now install overlay. I didn't make the mistake this time. Once you do that, you're going to lose your audio if you had audio before then. Once this all drops into the scene area, you need to go into your cogwheel left bottom corner. Click audio. And you want to make sure you have your microphone checked. And like I said earlier, it's going to be different than mine. Unless you have Voice Meter Banana hooked up, you'll most likely be clicking your microphone or whatever you have uh, installed. All right. Now, this is some sort of crazy cut. I understand. I know. Once I installed this overlay, it totally kind of like threw me out of this and wiped everything out. Um... And I couldn't capture the background of the display. So what I'm going to have to be able to show you guys is because this is such a simple overlay that every one of these screens, like you're only seeing the display of Streamlabs, but you can also see all my socials right here, right? In order to change your socials, it's going to be the same way in every overlay. They'll just be a little, be set up a little bit differently. But over here are going to be all your things you need, okay? But because all these scenes are already put together, the socials are here. You're going to go down to where it says edit. If it says edit, that means you can change the font. You can change what it says. This is where you put in your credentials or your information, wherever it says edit. So if it says edit social or, or edit background or edit, that's where you can change it. So if we click on edit social media, now it's going to take us to all our socials. So if you click on Snapchat, I have already put Keefe, okay, but... We'll just move this over to the side here so you guys can see. Hold on, over here. All right, so you can see a little bit better. This is how you change the font. See how we're on Snapchat right now? This right here, when you first load in, it's going to say, I don't know, game, T-I-T-L-E. It will say something like that, and it will, oops, make sure you lock that so it doesn't uh, go flying around and not won't move. But when you first have it, it's going to say something stupid. It's not going to be your name, obviously. So what you do is you click on the one you want to change or all of them eventually. Double click and it pulls up this little box where you can, you know, customize it. You can change the font. I usually use the Anton one because I just kind of like it. This one here. Um, but for this... You just leave it at what it was because that's the style of the font it was using, which is Sinzel, okay? But if you want, you can change it. I'm just showing you how to do it. So we're going to find Sinzel, which is in C, the I, which is right here, okay? So now it changes it back to the way it was. You can change the color of it by clicking on that color ink tab. And if you want it yellow, you can change it yellow or whatever color you want, you can change it. We're going to leave it white just for the sake of this tutorial, okay? And then where it says uh, text, you can put in your credentials or your info. As for me, it's K-E-I-F-F-Y-7-5 games, okay? And that's how you put it in. And when you just do it on that one where it says edit social media, 
it will change all the other ones, okay? So you only have to edit it in one place, and you do that to all of them, guys, okay? Just go through all of your social media ones, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, uh, if it says YouTube, whatever. You go through every one, and you put in your info and customize it the way you want, okay? And that's how that basically works. It's actually really simple. And once again, guys, I'm sorry for that crazy cut there where it where after I installed it, it did that crazy cut. There was nothing I could do about that. I lost it. I haven't figured out how to, like, record this whole... I'm using display capture. Like, you can see it here. But for some reason, it's not showing the actual background of the, um, the overlay. It's only showing, like, the name of of the stuff of my socials at the bottom and I don't know how to do that yet. I'm like I said I'm still learning, but I know the basics. The basics will get you what you need. This is just because I'm trying to record it to show you. But if you follow these steps, you'll be fine. Just go to the site, download the one you want and go to the edit social media or edit whatever you need to edit and then that's basically how you do it. When it comes to putting in and I'll show you this real quick. We're going to go to in game, okay? Um this should work if I go like that maybe. Okay. And add. If I put this down here, I see it's still not recording everything I want it to record. All right, this is a little better, okay? You're just not going to see the background game right now because I'm just showing you how to change all this. If you want to change this here, let's say we're on the 6.9, like I said. You want to change your name, double-click on it, and it brings this tab up. Okay, now just like when we edited the uh, social, you're going to do this the same way. You click on your name, which it says here, and you can change it. You put in whatever your name is. Uh, mine is Keefy75. Okay. And then you click Done. And you can do the same thing with them all. And that this was for... I used it on the green screen, as you can see. Um, just to show you. Okay, because it said something somewhere else. It said your name. I clicked on the wrong one because it was open. You click on the camera 16.9 or whatever camera you're using and you click on your name and again there it is which is this right here if you want to do the stream labels which are right here you go down to where it says stream labels which are right here it will be like this click on the little arrow it drops down the stream labels and you can edit each individual label if you want as well you know you can change the text you can change the font you can change the color it's very simple guys um so thanks for watching if you guys you know got anything out of this uh please smash that like button i know it's a little crazy i'm still beginning myself but i feel there's a lot of people out there that don't understand how to use this and they don't use it because of that it's not hard and I will update these tutorials the more I learn myself. So just please bear with me. We're all growing together. We're trying to get through this together. I know it's a tough learning curve for a lot of this. So if, if we all just help each other and stick together, we'll be fine, okay? So please, guys, smash that like button. Please subscribe if you have not already. I would be greatly appreciated. And ring the notification bell on the, the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment in the comments below if you have any questions, and I will do my best to answer them. I do answer all my comments, but no, it may take a little while before I get to you because just life happens all right guys thanks so much for watching i'm keepy 75 peace